Bites, Alien Conspiracies, and XRP. Here you go. XRP, and this is for our friend, a request we had, and he also stated that he thinks that a lot of people would be interested in what XRP is going to do in the future, and uh, it's pretty much kind of boring, um, but I did notice uh, with the latest move, the down move that we had under the uh, 50 mark area, a lot of bad news was coming out. It was like pumping a lot of negative news and the chart slightly positive. It's spring loaded to pop back up and yet you hear a lot of bad news. Uh, so disinformation campaign, <laughs> it's like, are they working with the Russians? What's going, is uh, XRP? <laughs> um, very funny, but uh, let's go back through the history of XRP. And I've traded this so many times, and it's worked out to all of its ranges. And let's see, we go back here, back in the day, buy, 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 buy. Target was up over here, 76. I, I did a lot of uh, different trades on this, up and down. And uh, the biggest trade that we had was from down here and even under, uh, but I had about, I put over 20% in reality on a percentage basis of total holdings into XRP. And I was looking for us to uh, win the court case, which we did, and to go up to this level all the way above in this area right here around the 80 cent range and uh, 78 to 80 cent range and we did that and that was the big move that I was looking for and basically um, I made over a hundred percent and got a free ride on this from levels all the way down over here and under and I traded a few other trades I traded this one down here and we've not completed the next move up back up to here we created this pattern, and this is what's pre-existing, and nothing has changed uh, other than it's been very boring. Uh, I did notice, like I said, stated that, you know, volume reversal right here, and you had a lot of people promoting the down, the negatives of XRP with the hack of whoever's uh, uh, wallet in the XRP corporation, you know, $200 million, whatever it was. Uh, supposedly he got hacked and uh, it just negative overall news and so forth but yet the price seems to be leveling off and looking to go up this is constricted and it looks to be somewhat of an accumulation that we have here but ultimately this is the main pattern that you have right here it went down to this level down here this is your buy zone and when it went to the mid 45 cent range after the explosion upwards um, and now we're just waiting to get back up to this up here 86 cents and above and that's just the one pattern so once this is done accumulating doesn't matter if it goes all the way down to here or under um, at some point it's going to get that move back above here uh, and that's all there is in in XRP there's nothing else it's completed everything that it, it could do technically it's just it's done it all and it's kind of like boring um, and you know uh, the only interesting thing was the them trying to tout the negative you know put out the negative information I guess to try to get people to sell is the only thing I can think of because ultimately that's what we're going to go up to this 86 cents and above area and uh, when it happens, who knows? 
And beyond that, you're looking at numbers that go all the way back up to the 126 and above zone and maybe new highs from uh, the $2 range, right? From $2 and above. I think back in the day, it was way above there too. So at some point, we're gonna get a move that goes all the way back up, in my opinion. This is your first area of resistance, this whole, where this red line, the 120s to the 140. Um, at some point, we're gonna make that move. And then ultimately go to the highs and higher, just like with Bitcoin. So that's what I'm looking at. But first, in the midterm, you know, this is what you're looking at, 86 cents. So it's not huge, but that's what I would, and then from there, you can get your double and above over here. But that's probably gonna take a while because um, XRP has just found no real love. Uh, it's kind of just meandering and, uh, you know, it's got nothing to do. Um, <laughs> it's boring is the only way I could put it. Um, so that's the what you're looking for on XRP. Again, you want this 86 and up above number off of this pattern that exists. And uh, it's trying to basically get you to, to dump it because it's staying very boring and tight. And ultimately beyond there, you're going to be looking at the 120s from there. And that's it. And then maybe new highs all the way beyond that with Bitcoin making new highs is what you would look for. Uh, and at some point, just like with ETH, let's go over here, um, it is going to uh, have an ETF. Uh, you have Bitcoin ETF, next is going to be the ETH ETF. And how the SEC is going to fight that, good luck because they're just ready to lose. That's They're, they're built in to lose, that's all I can say. Um, but there is downside available still on both Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. And we'll see, we'll see what happens with it. But um, yeah, uh, that's you know what I would look for, the ETHs and the XRPs are gonna have ETFs in the future is my guess and maybe they'll do like a combination ETF that has like all three BTC, Ethereum and um, XRP. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe even L uh, Litecoin that might be added in there. Uh, Litecoin's been kind of boring and it's also uh, looking to, uh, to, it's building basically. Uh, so that can be another one. Um, but that's, that's it. Uh, other than that, with Bitcoin, very boring week. But I'm looking for us to either break down somewhere next week or to go out a week in advance, probably around uh, the 8th to the 10th, uh, before we start moving down. But at some point, we're going to get that move down to here. And at the very least, down to this level down here. This is not trading. It, it, went over and resisted trading down there with that last move, which was a great buy point right in this one area, as uh, you guys remember. Uh, and this is definitely what I call negative volume build. Uh, everything after this bounce here, and the, the, it's got a negative volume build, but it is kind of interesting the way that the volume moves on Bitcoin as of late. It's strange, it's a little bit, things have changed since the ETFs have been introduced. And um, so there's a period of, it's, it's unknown. Uh, I still think, and uh, I, I still have to go off of what the charts say. I can't go off of uh, the new players in the market. Um, if they're gonna suck up all the supply, so be it. Oh, excuse me. Um, I, I will lock in my profits and uh, hedge short uh, and keep it. Uh, uh, worst case scenario is that um, I don't make as much going out forward. That's a possibility. Uh, Bitcoin has always been more likely to surprise to the upside on moves rather than the downside. Um, it's more logical on the downside and more surprising 
on the upside. So we'll see what happens next week. But if we get that move to up here, uh, that'll be my last short entry hedge. And uh, from where, let me show you in here. Do, 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 do. You can see the areas that I'm interested in. Let's go to 45 minute. So this area up here is what I'm interested in as my last entry point. And um, yeah, so that could happen next week. Or we can just hold this area and then break back down. I don't know. Um, again, looking for this first and then this next. And I have nothing to do but to wait. And yeah, uh, when we ultimately get numbers down here, that's when I'll completely reverse <clears throat> and start looking from the long side. And yep, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All the other ones are kind of boring. Um, let's see, my new altcoin fave has pulled back. Let's see down here, and at some point, I think it'll pull back to this area down here. This is where it elevated from. This was a great trade from uh, around the one dollar range down here on this wedge pattern right down here was perfect and I was around the same area as Bitcoin um, would be when it went down to that 38 mid 38 K range so um, this is where we are and yep nothing to do I'm still waiting um, and as far as XRP goes I think it's bullish contrary to all the the news that you hear out there uh, this is actually more bullish and you know what I'm looking for I don't have to say it but I will I want to see it get and complete numbers all the way back up to here at the very least that's the least so there you go there's the opinion on XRP and um, may the force be with you uh, <laughs> And my friend who's into aliens, enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.